Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Karin and welcome back for another video. Today we have our quarterly goal check-in, so looking back at the quarter that was and forward to the quarter ahead. As per our last couple of videos, this will be featuring my goals journal, which I started this year in an A5 Archer and Olive. As always, any of the equipment I used in the setup of these pages can be found in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get into it. When we last checked in, we reflected on quarter one with this page, looking at my highlights and achievements, lowlights and challenges, and then ways that I could improve my progress on my goals. We then had a level 10 life check-in, and then over the page, we also had a space to review each of those three goals that I set for the start of the year. After this, there was a space to brainstorm my quarter two goals, and then I decided on these three goals for the second quarter. So designing a life with better work-life balance, doing further work on the content batching for Jashi Karin, and simplifying my planning system. When we left off last time, we were at my action plan pages, which didn't yet have any of the habits or action items filled in. Flipping through these, you can see that I did somewhat fill them in, but in true Jess form, I didn't really come back and check in with these enough. I identified some of the reasons why I didn't come back and check in more with these in my reflection for quarter two, but directly after these action plan pages, I had intended on doing some monthly reflections. So the idea with each of these is that I'd have a one page reflection per month. So this was going to be the space for April, this was going to be the space for May, and then over the page we would have had June. From my last goals video, I said something along the lines of, I know that monthly goal reflections are really going to help in particular. I'm going to be setting up some pages for those following my action plans. But as you can tell, this didn't really happen. Initially, I'd just written down the header for the April reflection. But then at the end of April, I didn't do any reflection. And then it was the end of May. And I didn't reflect then either. <laughs> Coming to the end of June though, I decided that I did want to pen a little something down, so I decided to cut this page into three segments, one for each month, mainly just as a way to note that I did neglect my reflection in those other two months. In this June reflection space though, I did just touch on why the monthly reflection hadn't really worked. Monthly reflection is just something I haven't really been getting into this year. I kind of feel like a lot of the year has been very go go go, so stopping and taking the time to reflect just hasn't been happening. Following my mini monthly reflection piece though, it was then time to start doing a proper reflection of the quarter as a whole, and set goals for the quarter ahead. I started here with a brainstorm of the things that I want to work on or achieve in quarter 3, and then over the page I did a reflection similar to what we had in quarter 1. So a space for highlights or achievements, lowlights or challenges, and how I can improve on my goal progress. Some of the highlights were related to growing my Patreon and YouTube teams, good things happening with the Archer and Olive Affiliates team and the BDA team, making my new YouTube channel, Jashi Curran Vlogs, making a giveaway bullet journal for the first time, got to take two trips away, one to Queenstown and one to Melbourne, a little bit of weight loss, and also de-stashing some of my Archer and Olive products. In terms of the lowlights or challenges, these included things like some of my colleagues resigning, having a notable amount of sickness or unwellness in the quarter, still finding it hard to actually make sure I'm checking in with my goal planner, finding that my goals were a little bit vague or didn't have sufficient success metrics, and then some other just negative feelings. I did take these though and then think about how I could improve on my goal progress. So thinking about ways to make my goals more specific, thinking about making them narrower, making sure that I have clearly defined success metrics, and also just making my goals more exciting. I skipped doing a level 10 life check-in this time around, in part because I know that lately I've had a lot of fluctuations in how I perceive things to be going in each of the different categories. For instance, if we think about the work category, at the end of last week, work would probably have been somewhere around a 3, but at the start of this week, it was closer to a 7. And then if we think about midweek, we'd probably be back to about a 5-ish. So I didn't really think I was going to get a whole heap of useful information out of setting one of those up. I do think that that's something that I appreciate about making my own goal planner this year though. 
I get a lot of choice in what elements I include at different points of the year. So I can choose to include the things that I will find helpful, and I get to leave out the parts that won't be. Instead of the level 10 life though, I moved directly on to reflecting on each of those goals from quarter two. So having a look at the progress that I've had on those, what their status is, so whether I'm going to continue with them as a goal, or if I'm continuing with them but not making them a focus, and then also took some reflection notes that kind of explained the other two data points. So very similar to quarter one. You can see from this that the goal I'm sticking with for quarter three is the one related to work-life balance. Honestly, this has been a struggle for probably my entire teaching career, but in the last quarter I do feel that I've seen some improvements, so I'm hoping to build on those. The wording of this goal though I have changed, but more on that on the next page. For the other two goals, so content batching and simplifying my planning system, these two I'm retiring as focuses for now. That's not to say that I won't still do things related to them, I'm just not having them as my main focuses. For both of these I again feel like I've made some good progress, but it certainly isn't perfect or as good as I'd like it to be yet. For instance, with my planning systems I've done things like setting up some good planning routine steps, I revamped my monthly and weekly reset checklists, and I've gotten a fair bit better at making sure I'm having all of my planning stuff in my bullet journal. For my content batching goal on the other hand, I found that for the most part I've got a pretty good weekly routine with my content making, and that seems to be working well for now, so I'm kinda just gonna leave that for a bit. In terms of the goal setting that I've done for quarter three, I did decide to tweak how I approach this. Rather than having one main goal and two mini goals, I've decided to go instead for one main goal and one mini goal. For both of these goals I wrote down some ideas of action steps that I could do, and then in the bottom section here I wrote down some other projects that I want to work on in quarter three. These didn't really warrant having their own goal, but they're helping me make my goal planning a bit more fun. As I mentioned in that what can I do to make more progress in my goals section from the last spread, I need my goals to fill me with more excitement. I want to work on things that I'm genuinely excited about, which is also why I decided to change the wording of my work-life balance goal. The term work-life balance honestly just isn't one that fills me with a lot of joy for a lot of reasons. One of those is probably because my balance sucks. <laughs> What I've instead decided to wear this as is to build intentional leisure time into my monthly, weekly, and daily routines. Not only is this a bit more specific, but it's also going to be a bit easier to tie some success metrics to, which my previous goals were kind of lacking. That's my mini goal for the next quarter, while my main goal is going to be something which I am certainly excited about, and that is to work towards getting my vlog account monetized. When I moved my vlog content to another channel, I of course lost the monetization that I got from those vlogs. And although making money off my vlogs isn't the be all and end all, it is a way that I help justify to myself spending time on my vlogging content rather than my journaling related content. That's not to say that I don't want to do journaling content, I just find that doing the vlogs helps improve my video editing skills more so than the journaling content does. Getting to a point where the account is monetized not only helps me feel less guilty about spending time on that kind of content, but is also a specific goal that I can work towards. Rather than having a separate action plan for each of my goals, and having one per quarter, I decided that I wanted to have a go at re-implementing the tending list system from the power sheets. I figured that this would decrease the friction with using my goal planner. So, rather than having to look at three separate spreads for my action items, I'll instead have them summarized here as a tending list. Just like the power sheets, I cut this up into monthly, weekly, and daily items, though I don't have the focus or words of encouragement that's normally at the top. So as you can see, my tending list items for July are taking five full days off, so this means not working on schoolwork, not working on stuff for Jashi Karen, genuine days off. Having 24 hours off social media, so no Instagram, no YouTube, no Facebook, no Pinterest. Making an episode of Kai Time with Vogel for the vlog channel, and then doing some design work, which I have started on but really need to finish. In terms of the weekly items, I have the weekly reset on here, 
I've got a video about that one coming up on Sunday, and I've recently revamped my system on that, so I have been enjoying it. We have taking time off with Vogel, so intentional time together. Promoting my vlog video. So this is outside of just posting on my YouTube or on my Facebook that I've posted a vlog. And then building an interactable element into each one of my weekly vlogs. In terms of my daily items, I've separated this into too many calendars. So the first one is related to my first goal, second one is related to the second. But the daily items that I have for my vlog account goal are to write down a vlog idea every day, and then also to respond to comments. This is something that I used to be a lot better at and I've started getting a little slack on, probably because the end of the term's been quite busy, but I want to pick back up on that. And then for the second goal about building intentional leisure time into my schedule, we have finish work by 5pm and intentional leisure time each day. You can see that some of these I have shaded in, I've actually gotten started on, which is probably for the best considering we're essentially a quarter of the way through the month already. Some of them I'm yet to fill in, but they have actually been started. After this though, you can see that I have set out a space for a monthly review, I'm giving it one last shot, and then I have a space for the tending list for August, August in review, and then September's tending list. I think that I'm going to try and scaffold the reviews as kind of like a smaller condensed version of the quarterly review that I do but I'm probably going to jump into my power sheets and possibly the life map to try and find some prompt ideas for that review. I know that three months isn't actually a short amount of time, but it probably will end up feeling like it is. At the moment I'm feeling pretty positive about my focuses for quarter three, especially with that whole idea of adding more enjoyment or excitement into my goals, so I'm eager to work on the stuff that I put down. Question of the day for you though is twofold. What is a goal that you made progress on in the last quarter, and what's your next action step to keep you moving forward? As always team, thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye!